Hello again, it's time now for the children's moment. And if you have children nearby who aren't already watching this video, now's a great time to call them over. I've got some things to share for them. So, hey guys, Pastor David here again with the children's moment. Now, do you know what holiday is coming up this week? That's right, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, we give thanks now to God every day, or we should, but on Thanksgiving Day, we want to especially take, take time to remember all the things that we are thankful for in life. So what are some of the things that you're thankful for? Uh, right, yep, your parents, that's good. Your whole family, yeah, that's, that's a good thing to be thankful for. Um, your doggy, yes, I bet you are thankful for that cute puppy. Uh, anyone else? Thankful that you have good food to eat? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, those, those are all great responses and just a few of the things that uh, we should be thankful for. Now, when I want to say thank you, whether it's to God or to anyone else, uh, I usually just say thank you because that's how we say thank you in English. But in, in other countries, they say thank you in different ways because they speak different languages. Uh, for example, if I were to say gracias, does anybody know what, what language that is? Yeah, that's right, it's Spanish, yes. And we hear that in not only in Spain, but in Latin American countries and, and even in our own country from uh, immigrants uh, who first language uh, would be Spanish. And, and some of you will be studying that in school. All right, how about if I say, merci, merci. Yep, well, that's French, okay? That's, they speak French in France, and that's how they say thank you. Okay, here's one I bet you might not know. Obrigado, obrigado. Any guesses? No, no, it's not Russian, no. No, that's actually Portuguese. So they would speak that in Brazil and also in, uh, in Portugal itself, where the language uh, originated. How about uh, shukran? Shukran. Yeah, that's Arabic. Um, arigato. Anybody know that? No, that's Japanese. Uh, how about dankeschön? Dankeschön. I heard one of the adults say German, and you're right, that is German. Uh, we remember in our generation back when there was a song called Dankeschön. But you can see that there are many ways to say thank you. And the good news is that our God is very smart, and God understands thank you no matter what language that we're speaking. Because God looks at our hearts, and God knows if we really have a thankful heart or not. It doesn't matter what language we use. The important thing is that we do say thank you to God because God has blessed us and helped us in so many wonderful ways. So join with me now as I lead us in prayer and we're going to say thank you to God. Let us pray. Dear God, there are so many things that we're thankful for, but above all, we're thankful for the great love that you have for each one of us. Thank you also for sending Jesus to be our Savior and our friend. We pray that you'll bless all the children and youth in our church and community, all those that are watching this video and their families. In Jesus' name, amen.